Hi everyone, Dave from Daily Tech TV here. I've got a question from Sneg Tech. Quick question, are you familiar with the compressor app in the Mac App Store? If so, what are your thoughts on it? Well, yes I am, I use compressor myself. I probably don't use it the way a lot of people use it. I use it in much simpler terms, but what compressor does for me is it allows me to set up profiles for different compression settings. So I've got one set up for Vimeo, one set up for 720p resolution on YouTube, and one set up for full HD resolution on, on YouTube. And I use different compression settings for each one. It allows me to create those profiles, and then I can pull those across from perhaps my Mac Pro to my MacBook Air, and use the same settings on both machines. And then I know I'm getting the same quality of video with exactly the settings I want when I export from Final Cut Pro 10. Now the way Compressor works with Final Cut Pro 10 is when I go to export, instead of just exporting in the normal way, I say to export using the compressor settings, click on the profile I want and I'm good to go. Now Compressor also has the added benefit that it does background processing. So when I'm on my Mac Pro, I can set something to export, it sends it to Compressor, it sends it into the queue, and then it processes that in the background, and I can continue using Final Cut Pro 10 to edit another video. There is the added benefit that you can share the processing across multiple computers. Now I haven't done that, but I have heard other people using it to great success using that particular method, and it shares the processing power of the other computers on the network to process that video really quickly. I've never actually seen that being done, but it is an added benefit of Compressor. It does a lot more besides that, but that's how I use it. I think it's a good value application and well worth checking out if you create a lot of videos on the Apple platform. So brilliant question. Thank you very much for that one. Leave me some new questions in the comments section below, and I'll see you all in the next Q&A.